What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm back with another boxing video. And today, I just want to talk about the Adrian Broner versus Adrian Granado's fight tomorrow night in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, just got done watching the weigh-in, whatever. Um, both guys look all right. Uh, Broner came in at 146 and a half. And Granado's, he came in at 148 at first. So he had to go lose a, a pound within the hour, which he did. He came back, got on scale, and he came back in at 146. So the fight is on. They're going to have to fight. Uh, Broner, 146 and a half. Granados, 146. Going to be a good fight, you know. It's going to be a good fight. Uh, I'm going to get my prediction now of the fight and who I think will win. Um... First off, as far as the winner, I do think Broner will pull this off. You know, I think he will pull it off. He's at home, so he got home field advantage. And he seems a little bit more focused than usual, so I'm going to give him that advantage. As far as the fight, uh, after, you know, watching both guys fight over the last couple of years, you know, Granados, a lot of people don't know who he is, but he... He ain't no pushover. A lot of people say he just cherry picked or whatever. Um, like I said, and I was kind of thinking like the same thing, but when you go back and do your research, you will see that this dude, he done been in some battles and done got dropped, got back up, and beat beat guys that knock guys out. Uh, he done want to draw with uh, Centron a couple years ago. This dude, ain't, he don't give up. He do not give up. Um, I can't see Granados knocking Broner out. Uh, if Granados is able to win this fight, it will be uh, because the volume of punches and pretty much his his work rate. He's not he is, he is a type of fighter that he can go twelve rounds and just, he continuously throws punches. This dude do not stop. I mean, even if you knock him down, he get back up and he keep coming. He just keep coming, man. He don't stop. It's just, it's that simple. I mean, I don't want like I said, I've been watching uh, his fights all day. Uh, just trying to scout him out and see how he fights. And this dude don't give up. He keep coming no matter what, no matter how many times you knock him down, he going to keep coming until you kill him in there. Um, so, Broner, he have a long night. Um, if, I mean, like I said, if Broner can get him out there early and knock him out, I mean, that's that's something, that's something I can see happening, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, Broner don't throw a lot of punches. But I do, I do think the fight will go in Broner's pace. Because um, Granados, he got a tendency of fighting on the inside. Uh, in order for Granados to win this fight, he had to actually move. And he had to use smart pressure. He don't need to just be sitting in there. Like, don't sit in the pocket and, trade, and be traded with Broner. Because, yeah, they spar together. But sparring and fighting the actual fight, it's two different things. You're not going to have that head, that head gear on. And... You're not gonna have them big gloves on. You gonna have eight ounce gloves on, so and no headgear at that. So um, I do think Granados, in order for him to win the fight, he need to be moving. He need to he need to um, go in fight similar to how Madonna was, but don't be sitting in the pocket too long. If Granado sits in the pocket like he did when he in his previous fights, thinking he can just bang out all night long, I think he gonna get stopped. Because he ain't used to Broner's full power, you know, without that headgear and without those uh, those 12-ounce gloves, 14-ounce gloves they be wearing in the sparring. So, I think Bronados needs to, he needs to move. And if he don't, it's going to be a, it's going to be a short night for him if he don't be moving. Um, unless, now if this fight goes past, I want to say six, and then Granados can probably start trying to move in the inside, try to. Uh, closing in on Broner and make it a brawl, but he needs to be smart and move, uh, come in with some volume, shoot back out because he can move on his feet. Uh, Broner is more flat footed, um, but I really think Granados is going to try to prove something and go toe to toe with him for some reason. I just think he want to prove he can go toe to toe with Broner. He in his hometown, he gonna try to come in and think he can uh, prove that he's a tough guy in Broner's hometown. 
Uh, I think the pace would go in Broner's way. It's going to be a slow pace. He just going to be shooting shooting the jab, shooting the right, shooting the body shot. I mean, this a slow-paced fight, just like Broner wanted. I mean, if this fight goes in a fast-paced fight, it's going to be a long night for Broner. But I do think somehow Broner will pull it off because I think Granados is going to focus on trying to go in the inside. Instead of being smart, using his length, and uh, fighting, fighting, and uh, fighting at different times of the round, he needs to be very smart in this fight. He can't be sitting. He can't be stationary. Just put it like that. If Granados is stationary, he gonna lose the fight, and that's why I think he will lose. You know, because I just feel like he gonna be sitting in there trying to trade, and he cannot be in there trading with Broner because that's what Broner wanted him to do. Because Broner, his defense is a little is a little bit better than Granados's. And Granados, he is easy to hit. I don't watch his fights. I don't see him. This dude is very easy to hit for some reason. Uh, he don't protect himself like that. His head be just wide open. So, man, I don't know, man. But I got Broner winning this fight. And honestly, I think it's going to be a stoppage, y'all. I think Broner might get him out of there. Because I just really believe the will of Granados, he's going to try to go in there and fight toe-to-toe. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to say a stoppage. I'm going to probably have around eight stoppage or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to call it around eight stoppage for Broner. Um, I just don't think Granados is going to be uh, disciplined enough to actually go in there and box and use smart pressure. I just don't see it. And he gonna, he gonna give, I just feel like he's going to give up his length um, and his footwork to try to prove a point. But he ain't been in there. I can't even say he ain't been in there with nobody like Bronner. I mean, he sparred with him, but in the actual fight, it's a whole different, it's a whole different animal. So we'll see. I got Bronner by eighth round stoppage. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the fight. I will be at the fight tomorrow. Uh, matter of fact, I need to go get my ticket. You know, last time I went to a Bronner fight, I actually got in free. I walked straight in. Like I went to the arena in Cincinnati. I tried to pay for a ticket. I was looking for the ticket, man. We walked straight in. Me and my buddy, we walked straight in the fight. Straight free, y'all. No, no lie. I walked straight in the fight. And, and pretty much sat wherever I wanted to sit. I was up in I was up in the um, like the mid rows or whatever. But the point is, I got in free. But the fight is not going to be at the same place. It's going to be at, at Xavier at the, uh, at the arena. So, you know, I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get in free. That's why I'm kind of contemplating on should I just wait to go to the arena and try to get a ticket or should I get it now? Because last time I didn't even get a ticket. I just waited till I got there to try to buy a ticket and end up getting in free. Just walk straight in. But I doubt that happened uh, tomorrow. But, man, make sure y'all subscribe, like the video. Let me know who y'all think will win the fight. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow night, man. But keep supporting your boy. Subscribe and like the video, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.